All right, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the stream. We're on VRML Channel 2, and we've got a Master Tier, Master Division game for you. Uh, starting right quick, uh, it's going to be Redshift and Ref. And on the casting end of things, you got me. I'm Palador. And joining me, uh, joining me on the cams and for some occasional casting, I've got uh, Mini Hat. So, uh, Mini Hat. 
How's it going? I know you just came off of uh, some games as well, I believe, with Dimwi, correct? Yeah, I just came off of uh, Redshift versus Four Kings with Dimwi, and uh, that was that was a fantastic match. Uh, Redshift, I don't think they feel like they played up to their full potential there, uh, but these guys are going to come into this one fresh and warmed up off of that match. And, uh, you know, they were, they were looking pretty good, so I'm definitely excited to see what they can do against Wrath. Um, noting that both of these teams are going to be fighting really hard in this one, because both teams coming into this uh, with no success yet, at least in terms of getting a win on their record, but one team will be coming out of this one with a win. So both going to be fighting very hard for this one, I'm sure. There's definitely some stories to follow in this match, and we'll get to some of that in a minute, but uh, yeah, you, you kind of said it. The thing is, I mean, with the structure of master tier this season master division uh and then the round robin everyone playing each other among the top 10 teams in both uh europe and north america and uh you know resulting in challenger cups every uh, after the five week cycles are up where basically the uh, bottom uh, master teams have to go against the top diamond teams and uh, basically uh just fighting for those uh, positions in the master tier and, uh, you know, to be here on the, these primetime features and be in contention for uh, the still to be announced, but great prizes that we'll have for the season uh, as we get into the thick of things. But yeah, it, I feel like Midi had it's, it's kind of misleading, uh, certainly on the records, because we were talking about it a little bit before the stream started and I will concur. And it's not just it's not just lip service. I mean, these teams, uh, they're, they're showing some great potential. They show some great plays they're, The thing is. It, why it's misleading is because we're saying, okay, well, this team is winless right now. Uh, hello, though. They are in a league of 270 teams now. We just recounted. Ridiculous, by the way. 270 teams. You're talking about top 10. They're here for a reason. These guys are cream of the crop. Yeah, definitely no bad teams in the master tier, and it's going to be a heck of a challenge. If you're sitting at the top of the diamond ladder, you are looking at your competition potentially in this very yeah. game. Absolutely. And with that said, though, the round is underway. So uh, Mini had to get on the cams and, well, get a look at that with uh, your scope. It's a narrow night. The first couple points kind of whirling down on a rope just about. And yeah, a nice goal. Ten seconds. Yeah, well executed roll out there from Wrath. I think that went exactly according to their plan there. And it's just in case anyone listens to this uh, and is wondering, hey, Pally, why are you talking during the entire gameplay for this? Uh, all part of the strategy. So yeah, Midi Hat will kind of be kind of a half sidelines casting between the goals being scored. Otherwise, you got me on the gameplay. Hope that's okay. But we got uh, I blow it sports sending it the way of uh, well getting it over there, and it's going to be sent out now to the midfield. Uh, interception. That's going to be a close shot, and the second attempt not good either. They almost had that, but uh, kind of awkwardly left the hand of Zeus, maybe tracking type of thing as it does go uh, go to the bottom of the floor at the bubble. So trying to clear it, tap it loose, and just find a little bit of rhythm here as Redshift coming in and trying to uh, get that goal and defend this goal is going to be the side of Wrath. A lot of stuns, and I mean a lot of stuns, but Citizen will retain and now patiently by the cloud just eyeing down uh, the defenders. Not a lot of pressure, and now they'll still get the goal. There you go, Citizen. That just sucks. Pretty good uh, opportunity there. I mean, Zux just broke free, didn't really have a player on him. Yeah, that was some great patience uh, from Redshift. They got everyone all set up around the bubble and just took their time to find that perfect pass paid off right there. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, with with that, uh, oh, uh, Alduin saying the overlay might need a little switcheroo there. So ap apologies for that if that's the case. Um, but with that, yeah, we have Wrath over on blue. Of course, and red shift over on orange. Uh, orange shift, so yeah, close enough. And, uh, okay, cool. Fixed now, so appreciate the tip. And right now, well, look at that. All right, outside and into the lip of the tunnel, thanks to the Zuck save. Zeus getting stunned in the tunnel just as well. Now that's a nice snag there from Sports. Now to Ascend. Ascend looking for the bouncer, but instead, well, will be rejected, much like a bouncer in the club. Well, Citizen rejecting that one, but right back uh, to Zeus and Zeus to the tunnel to hmm, Suprum. So another name change, or maybe just an alt, but at the moment trying to get it into that goal with a million and one jukes. Oh, the ding off at zero angle, just about as Citizen caps it off. So four points favoring Redshift. It looked like Zucks had that one for sure, but luckily 
his partner Susan is there to snatch that one up. And he took the really steep angle shot. Those are hard to make. Yeah, I, I'm always, it, it's surprising when we see those happen. There was actually another one earlier today, a, a double ding off both bottom and top, but it's almost unusual because with the disc basically being inside the goal, yeah, almost expect it uh, to go in. So when it doesn't, it's just, it's always a kind of a highlight in itself or a low light, I guess, depending on your point of view. But uh, regardless, Supreme, uh, I was gonna go for that deep clear into the stack. Zeus eyeing it down. Oh, throwing it down. Zeus with a hammer. Really quick lead here from Redshift. We've got three different players on Redshift to put some points on the board now. And we already have a quick timeout here. It looks like there was a crash on the side of Wrath. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately on their part, as they will try and settle that out. So uh, with that, I, I guess opportunity to get back to what I was kind of talking about before the match had started. Uh, not sure how well aware people are or are not, but I was given the go-ahead. So the thing, uh, another intriguing thing about this game, as it is registered for the current lead, uh, to my best of my knowledge, this will be the last match for Redshift in the season. Not as a team, necessarily, uh, but in terms of their being active in this season. Uh, this, they'll be closing out this week. Win or loss, uh, going to take a little bit of a, a break and uh, kind of part out and just kind of reorganize in, in the coming weeks and months. You know, try and uh, re-strategize, I suppose. And as far as I know, still intending to stay as a team, or at least uh, the majority of this core is intending to stay as a team. But, but uh, yeah, this will indeed be kind of the swan song, at least for the moment. And uh, that's an intriguing thing in itself. But I am happy to see that these teams here, and uh, for Redshift, that is uh, still coming in and trying to close us out strong. You know, not not just looking uh, for a throwaway game. No, they're still here to compete. And in the matches that I've seen from them and have casted from them, they've done exactly that. So I was telling Mini Hat before we went live, the uh, that match that I made a top plays video on, the Project Mayhem versus Redshift game, for instance. Even though Redshift did lose that match, they they put together some incredible plays. Uh, I strongly encourage anyone who did not uh, see that match to go watch the VOD of the, the second round uh, specifically, because that was, no joke, one of the most impressive and devastating offensive turnarounds I have ever seen in a round period. Uh, they put up a dazzling amount of points off of some incredibly difficult shots and fantastic uh, defensive plays. Uh, that was a stellar round, one of my favorites thus far of the season, so go check it out. But with that, sorry, Minihead, I just talked for like three minutes straight. What's up? Yeah, Redshift, I mean, they definitely have some, some good memories to take home from the beginning of this season. Uh, I think they, they took a round off of Kangorillas, if I'm, I'm not mistaken, just a little while back. So these guys are, are for real, and I hope we see them uh, back later in the season or in, in future VRML uh, episodes. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the thing. That's the thing. This uh, Redshift wa was a team that was kind of a dark horse in, uh, in the championships, you know, uh, Challengers Cups and stuff like that in, in last season. But they came out and really, really uh, put some work on some of the upper teams in, in the brackets. Uh, they took rounds. They took matches. They got pretty dang far. And uh, like I said, testament to their ability for sure. Uh, so, you know, they're going to go in this after this match uh, and kind of reorganize. And like I said, yeah, uh, correct chat to my knowledge, not playing anymore in this season after this week. But, you know, I think we'll see them again soon. As Chuck Not Norris gets there too, and they're, they're back within two points as well. Yeah, speaking of a, another team still scrambling for some success here, uh, I think Wrath have a good chance in this one. They've had a couple of tight matches so far, and definitely a team with some players that uh, are really experienced in the game. I think they have some cool rollouts and looks. They've shown us some interesting strategies so far. Uh, so I'm looking to see if that's going to start to pay dividends here, perhaps in this very match versus Redshift. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, so Zeus will roll up the floor here. And uh, the defense now trying to take place for Wrath. And the Wrath of Chuck is something to behold as he does try and chuck that into the other end, but instead is contended by Zeus. And it will get the disc right back here towards Supreme and the release, but 
Sports was, in fact, in the goal, so that is out of there now as they try and get their stacks as uh, it goes really close to that zone of the, of the goal. And now uh, I blow at Sports, Arrow Knights, and nice play to tie it up here for them. It's got to be exciting for both of these teams right now. A little over halfway through round one here, and uh, mm. totally even game. Fresh start here. Let's see if Redshift can bring it. See uh, Sputnik there clarifying a little bit. Redshift, yeah, going uh, inactive for the season after this week. And Steel asking about the microphone. Uh, it, not new, good in a good way or a bad way. Uh, only difference from a normal stream is I'm not camming this one, so kind of different different audio settings perhaps. So let me know if it's a little bit weird. Speaking of a little bit weird, it's Andy. Just kidding. Uh, I don't know why I said that. I really don't. I love Andy. Andy's in the chat now as well as Phenom. And Tony! I love Tony! This is great. And YouTube's in the chat. Well, suddenly, suddenly it's a party and welcome to it. Thanks for joining us. If you hadn't heard a side of the bird, not the word, but the word on the street from Sputnik is indeed. This is the uh, last game from Redshift this season. They will be going inactive after not disbanding, just inactive. But that said, Chuck Not Norris with the disc and that's going to be sent. Look at you guys. You spark me with a, a new life, new energy right now. Finding that goal, but going to bounce off the pole. Chuck Not Norris trying to uh, take that, but over to the cloud. Arrow Knight's there as well as Ascend. Ascend trying to send it right back to Chuck. Chuck uh, needs to duck, could not, but now he just is loose. No duck, duck, goose, but over here it's taken by Citizen again. And back to the mid lane as they try and get their uh, stacks and peeling off for it. There's Chuck. Chuck again. Uh, this is suddenly the pace uh, just picking up really quickly and back and forth on the ping pong possessions as uh, will be snagged by I blow at sports looking for that beautiful cut but oh my a citizen closing the doors on his home saying absolutely not I'm gonna make a citizen arrest if you try that again and they're going down to the trench where it's overtaken by the man citizen so citizen getting it stolen so now maybe about to call the police someone go get mayhem and call the law but nonetheless it's I blow at sports with that clear and now a boost splitting off it's Chuck Norris not Norris uh, just missing the disc, however, as it floats to the boot. Why don't we have any hydration rewards in this channel? I need it. Uh, to Arrow Knight, though, is going to send it over to the station. Ascend right down to Chuck. Chuck looking for the cutter, but again, cut off by Citizen. The defense paving the way. Uh, so Arrow Knight again on this play will convert after the turnaround. Whirls and twirls. A little no, bit of Andy. A little I bit of Zach. A little bit of mini hat. What's up? I think uh, Redshift's trying to make a name for themselves here with clutch saves. Uh, I mean, a lot of saves in Four Kings, but also this game so far, they get back just in time. But unfortunately, they were back in time, but not able to save that one uh, from Aeronite. Knight. Let's see what they have to offer here once again on offense. Absolutely, and uh, on offense, that's a really quick shot off a really quick joust. Zeus puts it on. Hello. <laughs> All right, so I was gonna say, uh, by the bye, guys. Uh, I'm not purposely hogging the the, the casting line. Uh, Mini Hat will contribute like kind of during the off times, but otherwise, if you're wondering why I'm talking so much, even though I have a co-caster, it's it's for a reason. It's on purpose, I swear. Uh, but over here, it's gonna be taken by Suprem. That's really awkward to say, I gotta say. I'm just gonna go with Supreme and deal with the consequences later, which say there will be none, but Zuck's here uh, not finding the shot. So uh, trying to get that out of there, uh, getting a grab of some leeches, Chuck and Arrow Knight, uh, very nice. Turned a leech into a sack, essentially, uh, of their own accord as Chuck gets a cutter. Arrow Knight looking to flutter, but no, the defense now couldn't get it. No pass, didn't need it, still got past the goal. So this is gonna be really tight here, uh, Redshift. They need a fast offense. We just saw them answer with a really fast two-pointer. They're going to need to repeat that here to hold and force an OT or take the win here for three at the end of this round one. Yeah, they got some time. They got some time. Let's see. That's a nice comeback opportunity. But uh, Redshift, like I said, their offense has been hot. Uh, certainly this round, they got a few seconds, maybe a little bit slow in this roll. And, well, uh, cannot get it to go. So, hey, with that... It's 10 to 8, going the way of Wrath and uh, maybe in position to capture their first win. That is on the, the season thus far. Both of these teams looking uh, to get that, that win that they so desperately seek. And 
Man, now with uh, all the viewers from Channel 1 here, I feel like almost rehashing some of the stuff I was saying earlier because it's all relevant to all of this. But yeah, uh, in any case, Midi Hat, uh, you got anything for us? Well, we can take a peek at the scoreboard here as soon as I pull it up. Uh, but this has been a, a really great match so far. Uh, these two teams, uh, you can you can tell they both really want this. Like there's been a couple of times where the score was tied up here and there's chaos unfolding as stuns go through and steals go through, good defense on both sides of the arena. Uh, these teams both feel hungry. This is a fast paced game. This looks like a solid master tier game. And uh, mm. I, I'm sure that this is gonna be, you know, if you're a top if you're a top diamond player watching this match, uh, you, you better watch out. This this is the competition. Uh, there are no bad teams in master tier. These teams are both really, really good. And they're showing you why right here. Yeah, absolutely. It, and as I was saying, kind of at the beginning of the stream, but a lot of the Channel 1 viewers kind of miss it. Just uh, the record super misleading, honestly, because I've casted several of these games from these teams. And I, I mean, I think people, especially at the Master Tier, they understand that. They understand that the dynamics here uh, at play, where it's it's easy to look at a record and, and, you know, say, oh, they're winless. But then you say, wait a minute, this it's not because they're not a uh, master caliber team. You're, you're talking top 10 in this region. Uh, between NA and EU, you're talking top 20 in the entire world, you know, uh, in that master tier. Oh my goodness. Get out of here. Arrow Knights, three points. Like I was saying, like I was saying. I love the patience there from Raph to watch that one bounce in. Uh, I don't think <laughs> I read that in time, but they, they must have because they let that one slip right in for the long three from Arrow Knight. That, that very, very slowly rolled into the goal. Wow. But as I was saying, yeah, these teams, I mean, they are, you're, you're talking in a league now of uh, 270 teams, and you did not hear me wrong. It is, in fact, 270 just about now. Uh, you're talking top, top 10 here. So all these teams, they, they are stellar. They are next level, cream of the crop right now, trying to level the goal. There it is. Uh, I believe that was Supreme. Su Supreme in the goal with a stun, and then Citizen with the shot. Yeah, really fast three-point shot. That's the type of play you see a lot uh, at this level. Very coordinated plays require super good comms, so that Citizen would yeah. know that goalie was going to be out in time for that three-pointer. Mm -hmm. And uh, questions in the Twitch chat there saying, are asking why it's not on VRML1, uh, because VRML1 had the, the master match as well there between, uh, what was it, Duty and Kings? Yes? Uh, they had they had another match that was there at the 45 minute mark of the last hour, if that makes sense. So, so that's why uh, this got started at the top of the hour, 20 minutes ago or so was the start time, and that would be the reasons for this. Now that said, into the tunnel will be grabbed there by Chuck, but a little bit rushed, maybe misheard or miscommed there. Did not uh, think the teammate was actually on the feet and was an enemy instead. So that said, Zux will get the disc and looking to work it up. Oh, graceful move. That was a most casual juke from Zux, but got them to oop and they're up by two. Yeah, interesting shot from Sizz and it looked like he was upside down. <laughs> he was all contorted and he took the shot. He almost made it too, uh, just off the shield though and picked up by Zux, drove that one in with some style. <laughs> Also, YouTube in the chat a little while uh, ago, I think in the off uh, between round session, said Mini Hat makes the cast. You know, makes me happy. To hear that. I was gonna give Mini his props. Definitely, uh, great at the analytics there. And if nothing else, I am all for some master team unity. It is all Zen in here. <laughs> and by the way, YouTube, uh, in, in case you didn't see from Zach, I did not call you guys a bronze team. I said a brawn, brawn. Style, bronze style, not bronze style. Man, man oh man. Anyway, uh, will be a recovery from Citizen and locks it in for the eight to three lead. Starting to pop off here a little bit, five point advantage. Yeah, this is looking different than round one. Uh, a lot faster scoring pace here. The pace of the game feeling about the same, uh, except some yeah. of these three pointers connecting so far this round. Yeah, definitely you give an open goal like that. They're gonna make it, without a doubt. You, you, you've seen these players for way too long. You know what they can do. I know what they can do. Which certainly much the same. Uh, at the bottom of the ramp here will be snagged. Arrow Knight's trying to get that out of there. Has a lot of crowd around him. Zeus and Supreme. Uh, Chuck Not Norris has a cutter ascend. One on one. As a result, they get it done. 
I'm not sure who's doing it, Palador, but I'm watching, and this redshift stack is coming out, stopping right here at the double diamond. They're getting brawled out by some player from Wrath every play. Let's see if I can track it next time uh, we have an, an offense from Wrath. Yeah, uh, anytime you see, especially especially in Master Tier, uh, if the stack does not get back to the other side of the floor within basically a second or two, you almost always want to scratch your head. It's like, what happened? They're not supposed to be at so Well, it's usually because someone brawled them out. And now that said, a brawl out there on the outside of the bubble, as well as a very deep shot attempt. Rather bold as uh, Chuck, though, with the slap into the orange zone. Coming in hot are the stacks. And just like that mini, we are within one point uh, on this game. That is to say, Wrath uh, trying to make a comeback here. Yeah, I spoke too soon. Uh, I, I thought that it was going to be a different round, too, but once again, a super tight match. Both these teams hungry, and a flurry of points come through from Wrath. They're right back in this one. All right, so let's see. Uh, really quick on this rollout into the bubble. Citizen in no time at all. And we already saw in that first round some of those really quick uh, rollouts that just produced goals after uh, 10 seconds or so. Basically not even enough time to get those overlays up. Uh, but right now, trying to prop themselves up for that shot attempt, but Zeus was at a very disadvantaged angle uh, relative to those goalkeepers, able to deal some damage, but right back to Citizen. Now Citizen over to Zux. Zux has all of his players kind of converging at the same time here. One is stunned, and well, on the other end, it's Arrow Knight sending it through the mid lane. And now four players, two for either team, getting back into the orange bubble as Chuck receives that. So a chance maybe to take a lead, but too much heat on that pass to the barrier. And now some heat on some uh, clears as Supreme just has uh, trouble getting it out of there. Citizen uh, is able to get that and will be Zux now inverting. Look at that. Wow, a snag from Sports. However, uh, that was going to be a close one. Couldn't tell quite if it was a ding or a make, but you notice just Ascend getting this disc now and putting that home for the 9-8 to eight advantage. I just want to point out Zux, the immediate catch, and then he flips sideways uh, simultaneously just to make the angle a little bit easier to hit from. That was a really exciting goal there. There was just super fast boost from both teams, and we got to see the 2v2 there happen all unfolding in super speed. And uh, really speedy, super speedy is this round. With uh, the 9 to 8 advantage going the way back to Wrath. But really, uh, neither of these teams letting up. It, there has not been a whole lot of slowdowns. It's just been a lot of throwdowns. And right now it's Isen with a disc and looking to send it over. The stack already prepared. They were ready for those grabs. But that said, so were Redshift. They're there for some stack breakage and the recovery as Citizen takes it at the tunnel and sends it right down. Main Street, Citizen, mm -mm -mm. that is hot. Man, that shot was so fast and immediate that we barely caught it on the cam. We were all the way across the arena, but what a shot from Citizen. He just drained that half court, no hesitation whatsoever. Redshift back up by two. That was an absolute snipe. Also, hello, Southern Sniper. Welcome to the Twitch chat. Uh, Arrow Knight with a disc here, working it up, kind of waiting uh, for the team to uh, the team play to kind of unfold, you know, give that separation a bit. And this is kind of the first time in a little while of actually we've actually seen any kind of slowdown. So, you know, let's see if they can uh, make something work with it because uh, 224, and they're back at a small disadvantage, but could change here rather quickly. There it is. Oh, but the pocket shot not quite connected upon. I think I saw someone, might have been Andy, saying uh, top pocket curse. Apparently so. Apparently so. As that will indeed miss. And going over now to Redshift Supreme getting stunned. And right back to the other end. Uh, so, so blazingly fast that it's hard to keep up. And it will be taken by Zux to send it over to Supreme. Now, uh, Zeus, I will roll it in, sending it up to Citizen, contested very well, but not well enough. Uh, some stuns and a collection from Chuck. So close quarter combat. You would think this was echo combat with just that, that kind of uh, brawling and the meleeing we're seeing here happen around the bubble. So once again, a partial clear, but it will stay on this side as Supreme sends it to Citizen. Oh, the fake! 
Dang, putting on the moves of Citizen again. So he did it from deep. Now he's right up front for that beautiful zero meter goal. And we are in getting closer and closer to a round three here. Uh, Redshift putting up quite a fight in this round two. They have a two goal victory, or a two goal lead here, excuse me, with a little over a minute to go. And with that, yeah, uh, less than 60 seconds. Trying for some redirect leeches was Chuck, but Zeus, uh, with the disc over at the midfield. Now all the players here for Wrath, getting back into the blue zone. You can see the stacks for Redshift though. Pretty much uh, just punch for punch and stack for stack, grab for grab. And they're all over the place, they're swarming. This is just a, a beeline of bees. And it is just insane how quickly they're not only able to boost, but the redirects basically, not losing their chains and able to change directions on a dime. That said, needing to find that shot, but the round three is looking likely indeed. And another miss this time off the bottom pocket. So top and bottom are cursed as it turns out. As Chuck, not Norris, gets stunned out. Uh, Aerodite tapping it over, Sports with one more go, but losing that disc out there in the attempted alley-oop, but nobody home once and twice. And 13 to nine, it will end this round. We're going to a third uh, quite soon as I'll continue to talk so many can actually get the scores uh, set in there real quick, but 13 to nine. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, man, we, we got a game. And then after this, guess what? We've got another game uh, between Dust Bunnies and Femboys. Femboys who have no losses on the season. They're seven and zero, oh, so we got some intrigue for sure. Uh, but yeah, Mini Hat, what's up? So another fantastic round between these two teams. They're trying to turn this one into a serious nail biter. Uh, I'm definitely on the edge of my seat here. I'm struggling just to keep up with the pace of the action. They are back and forth across the arena so fast and flurries of points coming in from multiple players. Looks like Citizen has 13 points to his name so far. We saw a couple of snipes, including that beautiful half-court snipe <laughs> that uh, I barely caught on the camera there. And over on Wrath, Aeronite with nine points, and Chuck and Descend with four apiece, I bless Force with two. And we've been seeing all these players put in some serious work. I especially want to shout out uh, Chuck Not Norris because I think he's been putting up a pretty spectacular clinic in the area of brawling specifically. Looks like he has 32 stuns. I see Suprem also with 29. I haven't been following him as closely with the cams to catch all that brawling, but he's apparently doing a pretty good job too. It's like we're already about to jump back into round three here. All right, so here we go. And yeah, uh, everyone viewing, buckle your seatbelts and let's uh, tune on in to this third round as a joust is taken and had by Arrow Knight. Arrow Knight going up high, no one quite home. Chuck Norris is there to cause a little bit of damage. Some karate chop action as he goes for the goal, but unfortunately digging. So we've seen a few of those now, extending back to the last few minutes of the second round. Uh, but let's see if this turns around now for a shot. That one just missing everything, unfortunately, as it now ricochets backwards and into the tunnel and trap area where Zux does await. Uh, so, pace fast. Now pace maybe slow. Looking like it. Uh, again, when it gets chaotic, what do you do? Try and slow it down, even just for a few seconds, and try to breathe. Find that extra pass. Find that extra snag. I blow it. Sports. Gets another great save and just add it to the, the, the ticker that is his goalie career. Uh, fantastic saves every single match, it seems like. And with that, though, another one is going to be flung out into the uh, blue lane. Wrath getting back first, it looks like. <laughs> wow, pinging and ponging. The uh, full length of the floor, 80 meters deep, just about, as these teams just trying to find some stability, uh, find that foothold. Chuck not Norris with a disc and a soft pass. There you go to sports. A better one over to Ascend and thought better of it. The goalkeeper did dive and it was not a bad move, but got the two still yet. So I really liked what I saw right at the beginning of this round, actually. Uh, the rollout from Wrath. It was very cool. Uh, they slapped it down into the trench. They had a man waiting there. It didn't work out for him and obviously huge back and forth. But great plays from them to finally finish that one off for two after several tries. Right, so Citizen sending it over to Ascend. 
And Asen really deep, just uh, intending for it to hit the stack. So they're going to get that open lane. Oh, but a ding again here. Uh, so collecting it off the wall, they'll still have another go at it. But it's going to be a little bit tougher than it was the first time around. It's Citizen rounds up the disc. But this goes right back to him like a boomerang. And one more time, that one is clear. And stacks once again. Goal uh, momentarily exposed had the redshift stack been able to collect it. Let's see Zeus there flinging up his arms, trying to uh, interrupt uh, the passing lanes, the clear lanes, and another stun and take from Citizen. So uh, deep one, rebound from Zeus. It looked like it looks like, but uh, actually just misses that one as well. So we'll be in fact back to Wrath in the snap of a finger. The disc is definitely not lingering on either side of this arena for all too long. I mean, just taking a look, even. At possession time, for as frantic as it's been, it's only a uh, 52 to 48 percentage-wise in possession time. I mean, it's been even, and well, like I said, it's been even, two to two, evened up. Even again, indeed. Smash has been back and forth. We saw a couple of incredible saves so far in the game, and uh, looks like the fast boost on the unexpected uh, turnover there was just enough to get Redshift back on the board, even once again. Right, uh, to the tunnel as those brawls you talked about, uh, definitely a lot of them happening there because th both of those stacks had a hard time getting traction. But certainly, Arrow Knight, 12 seconds in. Uh, we'll absolutely love to see that open goal. And they're back up by two, searching for their first win here. Arrow Knight might have airballed that three a while back, but he's not going to whiff on that nice easy two. He dunked that one in, and Wrath is up by a single goal here. And with a 6.05 on the clock, the stack for Wrath actually just getting broken up in the back line a little bit by Zux and trying to regather. The, so number situation, opportunity maybe for Redshift. But no, Ascend, just the snag, the grab, calm, cool, collected. And now it's trying to send it out there before the stack from Redshift gets back into the defensive zone. Uh, misplay, mispass on that play will be Zux trying to send it to the barrier. Now off the shield into the blue. And one player, Citizen, all by his lonesome. Uh, so, will be just uh, return for Wrath. They're going to get that back, and I take it back, because it's Suprum. Supreme Suprum, and up to the top of the ceiling. Zux, sending it back forward, and another good dive, and another good goal. How about that from Zux? What an angle from Zux, and the intensity of this match will not let up. It's back and forth. And halfway through round three, we find ourselves almost exactly where we have been. Halfway through rounds one and two. Score even anyone's round. Yeah, exactly uh, halfway. And basically, we've turned into an Echo Classic, which is, say, five minutes on the clock. It's zero to zero, more or less. And uh, with that, let's see what this one provides. That is a very, very beautiful pass, but I mean, dangerous at that, because there were two divers. That was closest proximity you could possibly get. The second opportunity will be a bottom ding. Uh, so now going for a pass to the corner and a dunk right into that pocket. Got to figure uh, after the dings, you know what? How do you get a secure goal? You just dunk, just dunk. Yeah, Arrow Knight with quite a number of dunks to his name so far this match. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, what a way to get it done. If, if you can't find uh, the mid-range shots or the longer-range shots, uh, just set yourself up for those those classic sealable slams. You know, the, the alley-oop. Catch yourself to the goal or just find something in the backboard, things like that. Uh, but the thing is, and it's always a theme, you see these sometimes in master, master teams anyway, is, uh, ooh, there's the ding-dunk coming right back for Supreme. But um, I was going to say, a lot of the time, it's because they're such good goalies in this league now, People are always trying to paint those corners when they're on offense. So if it works, it's great. But if it doesn't, it's it's a ding. Yep. Hard to ding a dunk, though. We've seen a couple of dunks right into these corner pockets from both teams here. Had one from Aaron Knight and answered by Supreme. The dunk right in that top pocket. Hard to ding a dunk if you're lemming. But regardless of that, it will be Aaron Knight with a disc and uh, going to send it sideways. It's going to ricochet kind of awkwardly here. But yeah, it, it's the margin of error is so small. That's why it's 
when these master players make these pocket shots, you say, whoa, that was, you know, fantastic pocket. That was so accurate. I mean, couldn't have done it better. But of course, because the margin of error is so thin, when it doesn't work, it's a ding. And then you say, I thought these are supposed to be master teams. How could they dinged it? Well, the difference is between, say, like a newer team, newer player uh, who might ding, they weren't intending to shoot pocket necessarily. But these players certainly are, but does it matter? No, not if you're I blow at sports. He's gonna get the clear off of that save and deep into the orange zone. All the players trying to meet that disc, but unfortunately the trajectory just too tough to catch up to. And with that, it's back to Supreme. A very deep heave that's gonna bounce high, bounce low, and nearly into the goal. But I blow at sports is there for another collection and another stack into a clear. So let's see if this works out better this time. Looking good, looking great. It's uh, I blow at sports with the goal. Zucks with a ricochet off of him. So reclaiming a very narrow lead. Just two mm. minutes to go, Palador. This is still anyone's game. This is gonna be an intense two minutes. Can't wait to see who takes this one. Yes, indeed. And uh, chat asking if you can get a, a poll, a prediction, I assume. Unfortunately not, because we are on channel two. So, with that, there's less than two minutes left and a two-point margin of advantage. A big snag, but right back. Wow, Arrow Knight! Holy strength, and he flexes on them as Citizen flies by. And Wow, 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 11 to 6. Yeah, speak of Citizen, we saw him with his long shot of his own earlier, but Arrow Knight clutching up and he drains the long three right when his team needs it most. They've secured a substantial five-point lead here. The pressure is on for Redshift. Definitely is. Oh, and pressure immense. Uh, Chuck, he's enjoying that one. He's feeling good, and his team are looking like they're going to come out of this potentially in the next minute with that win. No hesitation on that one. They just beat them to the disc straight up. That was the worst possible moment for it for Redshift. But Wrath, they probably are already starting the celebration. This is going to be super tight, and I just don't think there's enough time for Redshift to come back. Uh, yeah, you definitely could see it in the body language as well. The excitement in the air uh, coming through here and breaking that seal on their season. Again, this is a, a team that I expect over the course you know, of the season in Master League. Uh, they're going to get a lot of wins yet. You know, this is not a mistake. They are here to play and they showed up today with a fantastic a series of wins as Citizen does get that goal to go. But yeah, these teams, I mean... For Redshift, this will again be the the final match of their season. Uh, they will be going inactive after this week. And full credit to them, they still stuck in it. They still kept playing. You know, they, they have not given up. They still went to try and score at least one more time. They're, they're trying again here. You know, Citizens contesting. But, you know, you love to see it. Uh, the win here coming in as <laughs> Suprema gets one more heave into the goal as the match ends. But uh, I like the, you know, the fact that... We get this level of gameplay and we have the luxury of having top 10 out of 270 teams. We have the luxury of seeing them fighting at this this level on this caliber and putting on those kind of uh, you know highlights that, 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 that they showed. Just these uh, you know, credit to Wrath. I mean, they came back in situations where it looked like it could have started tipping in the favor of Redshift a couple times throughout the rounds and they still stuck in it for uh, their first victory. So that's uh, awesome to see for them. Yeah, if there was any doubt that this was going to be a nail-biter of a match, these teams definitely proved otherwise. So Wrath takes home their first hard-fought victory, and it was hard-fought. Redshift did not give them this one for free. Uh, they came off of a really rough match versus 4K, but they put up a heck of a fight here versus Wrath. And uh, definitely, finally, Wrath going to be happy to take this one home. Uh, shout out to Lanzen, who's been rooting for Wrath all season. Uh -huh. Finally get a win to their name. Yeah, of course, of course. And I, I love to see that. Uh, again, people coming in to watch and support these teams and cheer on the victories of, well, one or the other. Either way, I think the support means a lot to the to all the teams as well as, of course, the casters and uh, everyone who puts you know anything into this. Our creators, our mods, our governors. I mean... It's all excellent to see. Now, that said, we do have another match about to be underway, so we're going to head to a quick intermission, but we'll be right back around the bend with Dust Bunnies versus Femboys, the undefeated ones at that. So uh, stay tuned. We'll be back.
empty goal sends it in. That was a no look. Was that a no look? Glitton instead gets tangled with the defenders. So Big Bot, a little bit of a flourish maybe to untangle. Let's see if they can get the goal, but instead it's Ant Gas. Maybe making sure that it's guaranteed an eight point lead. We're gonna chain through a bunch of players. And nice grab by S by Essen. Norris hits those. It will bounce off that wall. High voltage. He can capitalize on the clear. Taking too much time. Opting this flat back. So Gorn here finding that cross. So Laws, Laws sending it right down to post. And Phoenix right in the bubble. Going to go for another cross. The Fire Ninja to finish that off. There's two on the board there. From Shotgun Norris as SM goes crazy. Gets that one cleared out through that near side tube all the way down. That's going to be Gabe picking it up. Empty goal. What a stop by Zach! You monster! Oh, what? That's ridiculous! I'm done. Gets done now. And the other chain picks it up. It's a quick back and forth here. This game now. Trying to turn that one around. Big shield there. Suns out too. Gets that one sent into the zone. Up to Kong. Kong. Move it in on the near side. On the floor. Up in the bubble. Cross pass there to Gabe. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, Jackson Jills, as Dimwi likes to say, welcome back to BRML Channel 2. Uh, and we've got ourselves, we've got ourselves a match between Dust Bunnies and Femboys. You might notice there, uh, one of the few remaining undefeated teams after three weeks of action here in the league. And 7-0, and oh, that's not uh, not a joke of a record, Mini Hat. No, that sure is not. Femboys undefeated here going against this dust bunnies team uh, with a lot of very veteran vrml players here uh, i recognize a lot of the names on dust bunnies the names on femboys newer to me but just the same super excited to see how they're going to perform against these names that i do know gonna help me gauge their skill a little bit and we'll see are, the, if, are they in contention do you think paldor uh for this diamond tournament to advance to the master tier well, that, that is the question for sure. The, the thing is, you cannot deny the record uh, that they put on. That's the, the thing is, they have not been streamed yet. Uh, and that's even more reason to be here. Not only the undefeated record, but just getting to see some of these diamond teams uh, over the last several days and weeks. I've been streaming some of them as well as our other casters, of course, over uh, on Channel 1 and Channel 2, Channel 3 oftentimes as well. But there are some legit matches where, uh, in the diamond tier specifically, where it's just... I don't, I don't know what to what to think and who's uh you know who's gonna win in, in any given match because the competition is so tight. I mean, uh, you know, players and teams like High Voltage and Aurora, uh, who I just got uh, done streaming yesterday and in fact earlier in the week as well. I think. I mean, I don't know. I, I think the master race is always going to be exciting because of that high level play. But it's something else to behold when you have these teams who are fighting to get there. That is a big story in itself. And with that. Uh, the round starting off here with uh, just a lot of jostling and kind of some chaos in the mid arena. But with that, a collection there. Uh, backing it out, interestingly, might have had the open goal, but nonetheless, they're going to try and go for it the more traditional way, which is to say maybe some passing plays. Hey, they got it done. So what's it matter in the end? It's two points for Beast and Femboys. Yeah, interesting start. Uh, from Team Femboys here, I was not expecting to see the type of play that I am seeing. I, I guess I should have expected it after seeing their record, but most of these players fairly new to me, like I said. So definitely excited to see a team come out some fast passing sequence like that. Let's see how they can do here on this possession. All right, so knocking it loose. Oh, nice shield from Jonah. That's going to be slung to the station uh, and taken by Beast. 
Beast now kind of winding it around the back. Why not over to the boot now? And Cats are trying to put it in there, but could not find it. Uh, so another ding will be had. And when I say another, I guess uh, well, the first ding. But uh, that said, will be... Oh, just a, a missed catch. So unfortunate. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, they're going to try and regather their stacks. And boosting along the floor will be gathered by Beast rather quickly. Has a back pass available. And ooh, maybe off of position. So that's going to be a little bit tough. But uh, they'll still get that as Cats now. Down to the floor. And yes, I did say high voltage lulls at some some point. As well as Aurora steel at some point. Uh, up top though, trying to get some points. But kind of some uh, just missed catches here. A little unforced. That said, Jonah. Oh, the passes, but the finish. Again, the ding. Someone has cursed the, the goal post, it seems like today. Because man, that was a stellar. That was going to that was going to be a top ten play for sure. Uh, but with that, Skyla gets it and sends it to another intercept from Jonah. Jonah the window and throwing it down five to zero. Oh my goodness, Palador, this team, you know, they're up five zero right now, and they've whiffed about half of their passes. This team is just a few mechanical mistakes away from blowing me out of the water here. Their their positioning is insane. They are having good awareness, good back passing. This is going to be a contender here. I'm definitely excited to see the rest of this match now. And you got a wonder too as a hold on, maybe a wonderful three? No, just dinging off uh, to continue, I guess, the tradition of this stream the last hour or so. But, you know, as I said, at this level, there's there's a, there's a difference between uh, you know, top level dings and you know newer team dings it's just because the intent here is to make the, like, look, look at that one from Jonah. They're not trying to hit the center of the goal on most of these drives. If, if the goal is wide open, sure. But if there's a goalie in there, they are trying to hit those extremes. Yeah, definitely hitting some zingers of passes and goals. Uh, they're throwing the disc really hard, which is, is definitely why they're, they're whiffing on a few of these. But I, I'm super impressed with what I've seen so far. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And YouTube asking who this caster is. Uh, don't you know? It's me, Sir Dimwing. Uh, but White Fox here with the disc is going to send it up top to the bouncer, actually. Hold on. Wow. Uh, setting it out of there, Stoomba. But some unusual bounces there, but maybe not so unusual for teams like this. Uh, going for the goal is Cakester. And again, it's so creative on the bounces. You can never let up because you don't need a line of sight anymore in Echo Arena in order to hit a very nice goal. Uh, but with that said, up into the bubble, snagged up high, and the defense not far behind. Oh, that little juke, and trying to back it to the barrier, but again, uh, mishandled, but not for too long as Cats dismantles that goal. It's nine points going the way of Femboys here. Well, I'm not one to believe in Caster's Curses, Palador, so I'm comfortable saying right now, Femboys on mercy pace versus this experienced team dust bunnies i don't know what to think this is not at all what i was expecting when i saw the names for this match i am in shock right now yeah uh looking looking very very strong the question was again i mean on this roster here uh for dust bunnies yeah these players uh i've seen i guess we know them and you know over for the side of femboys as they get another one oh my goodness a dozen points I recognize uh, some of these players certainly from last season and streamed them, but the question is, how do they, how will they be as a roster here in season three coming together? And especially because this is their first stream of the season, this is them playing with presumable stream jitters, you know, uh, and they're still performing just incredibly. But uh, that said. Oh, yes, uh, to answer the question in the chat as well, hold on, a assault on the goal, maybe the first points! There it is, White Fox finally got it. Uh, this is indeed Palador and Minihat next to me. If you're wondering why I'm talking so much, is uh, because we designed it that way for this particular stream. <laughs> With a mini on the cams and such, just easier that way, but yeah. Yes, uh, we can't all be Palador with professional camming and casting at the same time. Uses the same part of my brain, unfortunately. So you're going to hear a little bit more Palador <laughs> than Mini Hat throughout most of this cast. Yeah, I mean, I, on one hand, I appreciate it. On the other hand, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to go rewatch some of the streams on Channel One earlier. It was a. Uh, I may have overdone it for once, <laughs> and bit off a lot more than I could chew because I was getting. Get a little, get, well, there you go. Getting a little bit chaotic um, with the casting and cams. We had like, I think, five matches, uh, some delays. 
Happy to get the streams, but wow. Um, it is definitely a task. So glad to have Mini Matt. Uh, Mini Matt. Mini Matt is your new name. Mini Hat here right now trying to get back into the goal. And how about that from Cat? Cat in the hat. Uh, Mini Hat, what do you think about that? That was a crazy fake out goal. These strikers are looking dangerous. This team looks coordinated. If I were yeah. a master tier team, I would at least have my eye on these guys. It might be to everyone's surprise, but this is going to be one of those emergent teams. And I think we all need to keep a close eye on them. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of this team, or at the very least, oh, yeah. these players in the rest of this season. Without a doubt. Uh, first, the many streams, no doubt. And really showing why they got the record that they did as far as the side though of Dust Bunnies. I mean, again, there is no denying the skill level of these players uh, not able to get it together quite yet here in this match. Always something that could change just with the blink of an eye or at least the turn of a new round. We've seen it time and time again. But with that, oh, good snack from Beast. But look at that. Skyla is there for a denial. That said, all the meanwhile, the stack. There's three players all flying in and eventually uh, found the hands of the Beast. Stumpa coming in there looking guilty after brawling out the entire Dust Bunnies team for so long. That was a 3v1 on the goal for just an incredible duration of time. I think it was thanks to his brawling. Uh, Mini Hat, you also have a fan. Snipe Dash really wants you to say hello. Too much? Hello, Snipe Dash. Just... <laughs> There you go. I was worried maybe I broke your brain for a second, but right now breaking open the goal. 19 points. Uh, this team is something else right now. And on that note, uh, timeout. Uh, so, not sure what the situation is, but they're going to settle something. Uh, checking maybe the scoreboard, seeing if there's a ping thing, but uh, not looking like anything too dramatic at the moment. But alright. Uh, dot com in the chat there saying chat stopped just for that. Uh, for, for what? Mini hat? Snipe dash. Uh, you've completed his life, Mini. Excellent. Glad to hear it. Yeah, let's see. Us here at, at VR Master League, we are here to make your dreams come true. And that's why it's our company tagline. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. But it could be. It could be. If you wish it. If you wish upon a star. Yes, anything for the fans, uh, unless it looks upset the, the VRML moderators, in which case I'll find out after the cast. That's okay. I mean, that's okay. <laughs> uh, then we will let me know. But uh, that said, yeah, uh, I guess on that note, too, uh, give a shout out to them because I know. I've been not doing a great job of shouting out our moderators over the course of this season, but the thing is, they've been doing some tremendous work. I don't know if you guys have actually seen uh, seen the announcements channels. I mean, I hope you have. But these first few weeks, literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tickets that they've been uh, answering, they've been so on top of. So, you know, really, really appreciative towards our uh, awesome moderating team. Uh, who continues to, to put it together and make all of this work uh, as Skyla. They're going to send that over to the uh, bottom, but Tiny Thug could not quite wrangle it, and that's uh, back to the midfield. So back and forth here, 19-2 uh, to off of that timeout. And uh, on that note, uh, I'm not sure who actually took the timeout. I was going to say, if it was Dust Bunnies who took it, you almost got to figure as, wow, that shot almost on, but you almost got to figure that it would have been better to just uh, let the clock run out and take five minutes in uh, between rounds. But that said... You know, they're gonna get the goal nonetheless. Skyla feeding White Fox, and they're gonna put some points at least here in the final uh, minute or so. Yeah, I did notice White Fox jostling with his equipment there during the timeout, so maybe having some kind of equipment malfunction. Uh, I, I gotta say, I don't think that's why they're so far behind right now, but I'm glad he got that straightened out so they can finish out the match strong here. Yeah, uh, just more so too, because you only get the one tech timeout, right? But you do get a timeout between rounds if you wish that doesn't count as a, a tech you know tech related thing uh, that's mainly the thing so uh, hopefully they won't need it later on in the match as a snatch from cakester and cakester getting stunned but it will be delivered to skyla a duck through move wow the passing is there oh the finish was not however so couldn't quite get it to go but that was lovely passing all the way up the floor just until the last second or so uh, they will link up for a boost uh, 
all of the players, that is to say, as Cakester gets it right back. There is five seconds left and trying for maybe a bouncer. Uh, Cakester, one more, but not going to be the case as it will be a 19 to 4 in this round. And now that I do have a moment, real quick, I will. I do want to thank again our moderators, uh, Wit and, and Dano, uh, uh, McFabulous, that is to say, and Sir Dimwi, Burnsy, Nada, uh, Alcos, T Wolfflo, and Honda. The real one, in fact, although just Panda these days, uh, but yeah, I gotta shout them out more because they've been putting in an awful lot of work. And uh, with that, uh, Mini Hats, I know you're impressed, but what do you think, you know, on the side of Dust Buddies, uh, what, what can they do, if anything? I'm still just trying to catch my breath after seeing uh, th this team Femboys for the first time. Uh, this was not at all what I expected. I have, I confess, I did not track their record thus far. And I hadn't seen any casts. Uh, you told me earlier this was their first cast, which I'm I'm shocked to hear after this team was up to 7-0. and 0, But I'm yep. glad we're getting them casted tonight. Uh, Dust Bunnies, uh, I don't know. They need to, to crack down on their boosting. I think they're actually getting out-boosted and out-positioned by Femboys right now. I, I have been trying to pay attention uh, while well, I can here to see as well as I can what's going on. And I think Dust Bunnies might be a little overextended sometimes. And I think there's good brawling coming out. Uh, from Femboys is, is the only thing I've been able to catch so far. Uh, but there's probably a lot more going on behind the scenes, and I'm excited to actually rewatch this uh, VOD once this is posted and figure out just what this team is doing, uh, because I am super impressed so far. I, I think there's going to be a lot of teams, especially in that Diamond Division, who are kind of uh, neighboring uh, Femboys on the rankings. Gonna be a lot of people analyzing as well, and think, because this is this is their competition, and man, is this competition stiff! Uh, because wow, what a round! But let's see how round two is. And oh yeah, quick shout out by the way uh, to our well league governors, that is to say, governing moderators, and uh, indeed in uh, Gilligan and Princess, as well as Mama Birds and uh, Deccan Man, of course. But uh, yeah, sorry, my bad. I didn't mean to leave them off the list. It was just mainly because I was I was reading off league moderators, but. Silly me for not including the govs because they are well they're govs for a reason because they put in the heavy heavy hours <laughs> to uh to be doing what they're doing and it's uh it's it's a job but that said and the first minute of play here the job for these two teams well is just to eye that goal for dust bunny certainly trying to capture some momentum and hey good way to start it off how about that uh cakes are two points yeah dust bunnies on the board first here it took them a long time to get on the board, if I recall, in round one. So they've got to be happy about that one. Uh, Femboys have been slowing down a little bit. Might have been strategic towards the end of that round one. I guess we're going to find out here whether that was strategic or whether they were just losing some steam after an explosive opening to this match. Yeah, that, that's another key. That's another big piece of the puzzle and part of the test is just how you sustain that gameplay. It's one thing to have an insane round. It's another thing to be able to have a sustained round uh, whenever you, you're feeling hot, you know? And with that, let's see uh, how it goes. I mean, thus far, trying to maintain control. See, Princess in the chat. So, okay, see, the thing is, Princess, what happened was, yeah, I was a governing mod by title. And, uh... It was so traumatic of an experience, I simply wiped the roll from my memory and thus I forgot about you. Of course I wouldn't forget about you, but forget about that because there is a very unforgettable two from White Fox. Every point counting to build themselves back into this game and maybe just maybe get to a round three. Yeah, it would be interesting to see a round three between these teams. Uh, this is looking a lot different so far. Dust Bunny is coming out a lot stronger, shutting down those offensive opportunities from Femboys and getting clears that they're able to actually recover. They definitely struggled with both of those things last round, although this could be an opportunity here for Femboys, and indeed, they will take this one in. XE Beasts takes that one in for the first goal for Femboys in round two. Yeah, and so I think on, on that particular occasion, uh, for the defense, probably a diveable pass on that. Uh, goalie, I think, uh, I think Tiny uh, did dive on it, but I think if it came maybe a half second earlier, uh, then that would have been a very successful turnover. But because, uh, you know, the pass was long, there was time to dive, but then it got through. You know, once uh, he did dive a little bit too late, that said, wow. Okay. Mini hat, I don't want to cast with curse and et cetera, et cetera, but they're connecting on some of these passes now. I, I think maybe they found some stability here for the side of Dust Bunnies, and I'm happy to see that. Yeah, so I think Dust Bunnies, they made an adjustment here. Uh, they, they started sending their players really deep 
and Femboys have not caught on yet. Femboys are still covering the tubes. So there are three open passes way deep in Femboys' territory here every time they've had a joust advantage for Dust Bunnies so far. So we'll see whether they catch on to this. They're going to suffer again for it right here as White Fox super far into the Femboys' territory there. Oh, how about this? Turn around. Uh, ladies and gentlemen over there in the Twitch chat. Hi, I'm Palador. And this is your game. We've got one. Uh, it's nine to two. Hot start for sure now. Coming out of the gates for the Dust Bunnies after what was just a round where they could not find their foothold. They could not plant uh, their plays, their offense, and get it working the way that they are suddenly getting it working in the second round. I mean, now things starting to connect. So that is some excellent news for them. Now, uh, some backline brawls underway. So will cause kind of all these stragglers in the mid lane. No one really boosted, just everyone separated and trying to find uh, something or someone to grab. Uh, the goal is is open. And if there's any indication about what's happened so far, well, 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 we're in for a double digit lead the way of Dust Bunnies. This is the complete reverse of what we saw in round one. Uh, this match super unpredictable for me so far, uh, but the same comment I had in round one for Femboys, they were doing a great job brawling. Here applies to Dust Bunnies. They had so many people brawled out, White Fox just got to walk that one in to the point where it was hard to miss. Yeah, I, this is a crazy a turnaround, and yet it's not unusual. Uh, shout out Tom Jones, I guess, but I, I, I mentioned this before, and these streams have been oddly like this the last week or two. I, I can't count how many times now I've seen a first round be dramatically like an, a, some sort of scoring extreme for one team and then the second one's a complete reverse. It's, it's quite unusual. I think we see less of it, uh, you know, the more the weeks pan out, the ranks pan out. That said, oh, just swimming through, it's Cats. You know Cats can swim because Cats got an in for the four points. That was a unusual but also very aesthetic move. Synchronized swimming, if you will. That is not the first look from Cats we've seen juking around, faking out the goalie. Uh, this man has done it consistently here. This is definitely a player to keep an eye on in that striker position. Yeah, so setting the stage maybe for a comeback, because look at that, it's taken back by Jonah. He just sat there and it just went right to him like a magnet. The goal, a little bit less magnetized, but still yet they got the cut and it's cut off by Cake Sir. Beautiful job reading that lane. Uh, well before that play even developed. So uh, Beast with the disc and Beast trying to miss this stack and uh, the boosted player Skylar there as well. But White Fox splitting off into the other player, the other receiver. So as a result, they'll get the disc back. Oh boy, the stun. And now maybe to seal the delivery into the goal. It's 14 to four. Some dirty moves on behalf of both Skylar and White Fox. Man, oh man. Looks like Femboy is starting to suffer from some mechanical failures uh, in the sense of their game mechanics, not uh, mechanics of their hardware. Uh, a little bit of passing inaccuracies and shot inaccuracies are costing them pretty huge in this round. And we're seeing a much better performance from Dust Bunnies in that capacity thus far. Yeah, they have more than stabilized. They are feeling now fully in a groove in this uh, mirror match, and I say mirror as in it's just, it's reversed, <laughs> uh, for sure. It's a, it's a really interesting turnaround here, but I think, again, testament to players' uh, skill levels and mentalities. I mean, these are, again, the players, especially here, are talking about, you know, Skyla and, and White Fox and, and Cakes, are, uh, especially, and and uh, apologies if Tiny Thug has also been around for a, a long time, and I'm just not as aware, but I know, like, super veteran players, at least uh, among them, and They've been there. They've done that. They kind of know what it's what it's like to win, what it's like to lose. They they know the flows of Echo. It can go either direction. And oh oh, that goal is almost made. That bouncer <laughs> taken by uh, Jonah as they just try to find something. But that uh, pedal, like I said, they had to keep it pressed. And well, instead they've just been repressed completely in the score sheet and on the defense as well. As White Fox is gonna dive right below. Now Jonah trying to play those lanes pretty well inside the bubble. So. Uh, what they'll do actually is get it over here to cats and now it's going to be the defense trying to get back they do have actually one way 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 deep in the goal and uh jonah over to cats they have two options by that backboard above and to the left trying to distribute to the bottom by that boot but now it's going to sail uh, to jonah by that trap and white fox uh, gets the disc back after 
these stuns in the midfield. So 145 left, and I do believe we're really getting to that point here where round three is very, very likely. And that means that means an undefeated record is suddenly at threat, at great threat. Uh, for the side of Femboys, they're 7 0. Stainless as steel. Not Skydiver, but Steel, nonetheless. And maybe uh, Steel here, if Cakester gets that uh, back, but... Yeah, this could be this could be a momentous occasion, in a, in a sense. Uh, you know, undefeated stream debut. I just want to see a round three, maybe, where uh, these teams kind of return and we, we get like a split down the middle, basically. As, hold on, uh, Skyla taking it back, but right on the windup, it was, uh, what, Stoompa, I think, getting a snag there. But, but yeah, if we had one extreme round, you know, in favor of Femboys, we had one extreme scoring round in favor of Dust Bunnies. I want to see one that just goes to OT and oh me! Oh my! That is a big, big grab and save there from Kickster. Oof, from the back. So, Jonah over there to the cross-cutting cats. And right in the tool kit, it's Kit Kat. That was sweet. 14 to 6. Cats has some really good hands. I have seen this control from Katz that is very impressive. And uh, this is not a player that I don't think I've ever seen before, but I'm, I'm super impressed with Katz right now. Yeah, I, I do believe I, I streamed Katz a couple times last season as a shot goes out from Jonah, so could have brought it all the more close and gave him some uh, even more uh, momentum boost going into round three. But uh, I, I want, Katz was definitely on one of the, there were a couple Cat-themed teams, <laughs> and Cats was on one of them. Uh, that said, wow, uh, great round mini uh, on the behalf of Dust Bunnies. Really able to stabilize. I, it'd be very easy, as I was mentioning, for a lot of players, a lot of teams, especially less experienced ones uh, in the league. You'll see them be blown out in one round, and they'll just kind of concede. They'll, they'll get down on themselves and not be able to come back. But Dust Bunnies, they did, and uh, happy to see that. Yeah, Dust Bunnies may be a newer team, but definitely filled with veteran players. And I do recognize, uh, including Tiny Thug there, I know you had called him out as a newer player. Yeah, he's a I little newer, new, but uh, I, I've Just seen him around. Less, um, less he's, old is what. He, he's paid his dues. Yeah. Uh, these guys all know what they're doing and showing it there, uh, coming back from a kind of kind of depressing, a little, a little frightening if you're Dust when he's round one, uh, to put up a solid performance there in round two. So we are going to get a round three, and we'll see whether uh, Dust Bunnies are going to be able to, to carry the momentum that's definitely kind of on their side, although there was a few scoring opportunities to close the gap just a little bit from Femboys right there at the end of round two. Uh, but I don't know. It could go either way at this point, and it's going to be as much a mental game as anything at this time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh Obviously, when it came to the mental test, Dust Bunnies, they were uh, really able to pass that test with flying colors in round two. So now the test, well, uh, gets moved over to the side of Femboys, and uh, they have to see if they can pass it here, or uh, it, w whether it will be the, the more veteran players here, able to just uh, you know become the teachers here. Uh, dealing a loss, the first loss potentially of the season, if they don't come back for Femboys. But that said, Finding some control is Cats. We'll turn around just as uh, catch the disc and sending it over sideways and now trying to kind of uh, invert back to the correct orientation there. Kind of had that awkward, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, Sideline, uh, sideways flip sometimes. Like, you know, when you don't intend to invert and then suddenly it can really disorient you. But uh, with that, it's going to be snagged by Skyla. Skyla with a million fakes, I think. Either a fake or a controller issue. But I, I'm inclined to think that was a fake, just an awkward looking one. But nonetheless, down to the deep end, it's going to be snagged by uh, AXZ Beast with the eyes on the goalie. Well, should have had eyes on the back of the head, apparently. Uh, that said, a, another stun. Skyla and Cakester able to uh, cause some trouble here, trying to get it out there, but having trouble getting it through that tunnel. So a very light tap is going to find its way to Stumpa. And Stumpa now eyeing down the midfield pass to Cats. Uh, Cats chucking up high to the cloud. And a tight pass to Beast, but immediately the stack punishing, meeting uh, halfway there. And it will be taken back 
Well, once again. So Jonah eyeing it up and oh, not able to knock it down. Unfortunately, had the teammate there, but I think it's one of those cases where, you know, you're, you're waiting for the communication. You're waiting for your teammate to say if it's good or not, but that shot certainly is. Jonah puts it back after all. So Jonah had an absolutely explosive round one. He's definitely slowed down a little bit on the three-pointers. Maybe the nerves starting to get to him a little bit as he feels the pressure of this match. But he was able to get the nice cross pass from his team uh, to score that one for the opening two of this round three. So Femboy is back in this one. Kyla also with another duck. The first one kind of a half success, but actually still got grabbed at the very end. So a good turnover being forced here by the side of uh, Ben Boys and oh maybe looking I couldn't tell maybe a cross pass but miscommunicated he went for the goalie instead uh, so only two points at the board thus far I mean we're a few minutes in two and a half actually as a cross goes over and right into the center of the goal as the goalkeeper had to go out so Jonah good pass to Beast yeah really good possession uh, and, and maintenance of possession from Femboys here. They're able to recover uh, these these passes and deal with the stack. Uh, the stack was really threatening from Dust Bunnies in round two, and it still is threatening in this round, but it's being handled a little better thus far by Femboys. Ooh. Right now, uh, one of the players for Femboys being uh, stranded, and well, that's gonna result in just that. White Fox capitalizing off that goal and a two point differential. So uh, YouTube in there as well, as grumpy as Broom. Good to see. Talk about the veteranship and, and such. And then cruising as well. You know, funny thing, cruising. See, I, I spent that first week, uh, week and a half, whatever it was, saying, Master League needs cruising back in it. And then I was able to cast her first game back, and then I haven't seen you since. Sad times. Sad, sad times. But in any case, one day, one day, I will be back amongst the kings. But right now, into the ring is White Fox, tying it up for a piece. Yeah, that was a nice little passing sequence there from Dust Bunnies, and this is going to be a different round three. I'm kind of glad to see this. This is going to even round three so far, and we have a lot of time off the clock, although still a lot of game to go. Let's see what Femboys can do here with their offensive chance. Yeah, so I was kind of hoping for that. I remember, I said I didn't want to casters curse it, but we had the extreme, like lopsided round uh, favoring Femboys in round one, and lopsided favoring. Uh, Dust Bunnies in round two. Granted, it got closer towards the end, but I was hoping for this. I was hoping for one where it was just back and forth, where it was just, you know, they, they used the first two rounds to settle themselves and kind of, you know, settle that feel-out process, and then by the time we got to round three, it's just a straight-up uh, battle where either team could, you know, win right at the uh, up to the last minute, and that's what I'm hoping for. Thus far, the pace is looking like it with uh, 64. Yeah, back and forth it has been indeed. <laughs> And Skyla, another duck through move. So I think uh, definitely Fanboy's got to watch out for that because he's been going to it. And oh, the shot's going to be snagged by Beast. Uh, that narrow, narrow gap in the goal might have even been a bait from Beast. Couldn't quite tell. You definitely see players do that sometimes. Shout out, Mr. YouTube. Dot, dot com. Whatever. <laughs> but nonetheless, or Mizuchi for that matter. Stop Mizuchi on stream. Up. That's definitely his specialty, I will say. Uh, but. Yeah, sometimes, you know, make the offense think that they have a shot, and then suddenly, nope, I'm gonna snag that right out of the air as you shoot it. And uh, one of those other things you gotta contend with, it's part of the game of Echo, it's part of the mental game, and just the mechanical as well. Seeing exactly what kind of margins you can play with and get away with as a player. Uh, with that, a deep shot, or rather a uh, pass attempt, I believe that was, but it was cut off by, if not the defense, the barrier. And that will bounce pretty low, but pretty fast are the orange folk on femboys uh, i clear deep into that end zone and that's going to actually get right through uh, that midfield defense tiny thug now trying to take a boost back as well into the goal and he does so got the goalie there they got cats on the side uh, cats was uh, sitting there tippy tapping uh, on the shoulder really anticipating that pass and hoping to get a goal off of that to bring them up some more that said maybe maybe it is a tie white fox now scoring and scoring again uh, to keep this game right neck and neck. Yeah, this has been a competition of who can get their stack assembled the fastest. And both teams were getting their stacks at about the same moment. And it was reflected in the back and forth play we saw right there. But this time, 
uh, White Fox gets a much faster earlier boost and quickly able to capitalize for the two. And with that, yeah, we're just we're maintaining this uh, stalemate of sorts. It's just uh, trade-offs of these goals. Cats now trying to find that pass to the side, uh, ducking below Skyla. Don't want to do that because well, Skyla knows the move very, very well and, and has been uh, using it to success across this match and, and just in general. You know, crafty are the maneuvers. White Fox trying to get that through with the window again. Oh, so narrow. And even the briefest hesitations like that can often be the difference between a make or a miss or a clear shot or a defended one. And now Jonah, that is a defended one by the barrier, but they will bury it. Unfortunately, only a two-pointer. So that could come back to bite them later on, but they'll still at least pull ahead by two. So Jonah with fully 15 points to his name so far, but it could have been 30 if he'd been sinking his threes. Uh, this guy's gonna probably watch this VOD and go drill those threes. He's gonna be a player to watch out for. His positioning is obviously fantastic. He's had so many yeah. shots on goal. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, like I said, there's there's a lot to be impressed by by uh, both team play, but also individual play from uh, uh, these players who, again, getting their stream debut, especially, uh, particularly on uh, Femboys here. And also, quick shout out to Grumpy in there. I uh, hope you get better. Apparently had a, had a bit of a sick week, so wishing you well to the grumpiest broom. Want you to be the healthiest broom real soon. Uh, Skyla. Over to the intercept from Beast. Beast, a quick pass over to Katz. Katz is going to be a little high, so the stack's splitting off, and Cakester, nice job. Uh, again, the communication there on point. They sent one, Cakester, to catch this. They sent the other one, Tiny Thug, uh, into the goal. You know, not getting too caught up and piling on the disc at the same time, so just very well communicated uh, to keep their positioning alive. And oh, oh, punishing! Cakester, what a take! And they're up by one. Yes, sir. Mini hat. How about that one? That was just a hard read by Cakester. I guess that uh, Femboys didn't see him hiding there, but fantastic job by him. No hesitation on the shot. That might be just what the Dust Money's needed. They are up by one right now. Oh, feeling the heat now definitely are the Femboys because their win, uh, winning record, their flawless 7-0 record is at stake. Dust Bunnies and Cakes are there with a phenomenal and very, very clutch read. I mean, it was a pretty fast pass, but he snagged it and sent it without hesitation. And now that is going to take over that disc. Cakester, oh, just losing the handles, however, so this might open up uh, recovery, but Skyla actually sails in. Skyla sailing up, and now they might find themselves sailing home with a win today. Uh, they are up by three, not over, but oh boy, 37 seconds. Yeah, this is tight enough that uh, if Femboys shoot the two, I think that will be the round. So they need to go for the three. This is a really hard play to make. Use requires coordination, try to stun the goalie. Let's see if they can do it. All right, so quick moves, quick moves. That's all they need. They uh, have to not turn it over, and they need to get all of these players into the offense rather soon. Somebody needs to get on that goalie, try it for that three, a pass, a handoff one. It's not there. Uh, they need to send that out somewhere to the shoulder of the nest, but it will be taken back by White Fox. Oh, a big grab here. So could it be? They needed a three. Going for the goalies. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, and no. Oh my goodness, it was in. It's the win, however, going the way of Dust Bunnies with no seconds remaining. Point one left in that clock, and that may have been good. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I can't believe that. That was so... Oh, my gosh. That's so close. But with that, the Dust Bunnies, the reverse sweep after it looked like a, a mercy nearly in the first round. They did it, Mini Hat. And they did it in the most exciting possible way. Holy smokes. Oh my goodness, Paldor, that was so close. I'm sure that Femboys wish they could have that one back. They almost pulled off the play. They had a couple chances. I was really glad to see that they had a good awareness. They knew they needed to take the three. These are all things that are really promising signs that this is gonna be a really good team to watch out for. Uh, they, they have a lot of the qualities of a, a top team. They have good mental awareness of positioning. They had good stacks. Uh, they, they look like they are ready for the top tier competition of this game. Uh, if they just keep grinding, get those mechanics down, get that shot out and pass accuracy a little bit higher, uh, this is going to be a team to watch out for. And I said this 
halfway through round one, but I'll say it again. If you are a, a master tier team, I would at least have a side eye on Team Femboys. To say the least. <laughs> to say the least. Uh, just in a chat real quick there, they said... Uh, okay, yeah, I see. So 11 to 8, I think one of the scores didn't take uh, on that end for round three. So yeah, 11 to 8 for Dust Bunnies. But that said, there's got to be some stuff to study for sure. Uh, not only for... You know these teams playing here but like like you said the teams that are playing against them there in in those uh you know diamond divisions and uh i i think you know they, they showed a lot of great uh promise for sure uh, like you said they didn't know what to expect for a team that just came together here for this season at least to my knowledge and if i'm wrong then shame on me but i'm pretty sure this roster wasn't the, you know the same roster last season i mean the chemistry was very very good uh, that first round, I mean, they were just rocking it uh, with so many fantastic uh, passing plays and well-coordinated drives into the goal. Even, like you mentioned, some some of the times the passes weren't connecting always, but they'd still be able to recover, and they were positioned well enough where little mistakes didn't matter because they had the bigger picture in mind. So the thing is, being able to do that still early into the season and early overall on the you know Grand Echo career of theirs, I mean... They already have some excellent signs of uh, being a team to contend with, of course. Uh, just the experience, just the experience and the the ability to uh, play right until that buzzer uh, for all these rounds, you know, not giving up uh, was Dust Bunnies and they just pulled off something uh, fantastic. You know, uh, not fantastic as much for Femboys, but certainly fantastic for the Dust Bunnies. But like I said, I think they have a lot of things to uh, for both teams uh, to hold their heads heads high on and definitely not anything to be ashamed of because uh i'm excited to see more of these matches i'm excited to cast more of these two teams in the very near future rest assured absolutely powder uh these are two teams i'm excited to see femboys working their way up the ladder and they have finally met their match here in dust bunnies dust bunnies started off the season already facing a little bit more veteran interesting teams but uh Femboys establishing themselves as just about on the level of Dust Bunnies here. Uh, they didn't take it, but it sure was close. So these are going to be two teams yeah. to watch, and I'm glad we got to cast this one tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, just to update you guys as well in the Twitch chat, uh, viewing at home. So with that, one undefeated record off the books, at least among teams uh, with uh, in the, in the uh, Diamond Division here. Remaining now are Corrosion at 6-0. You have Aurora, 6-0. You have Project Hope, 6 and Hope. Uh, and over on Masters, it's Joker and Ken Gorillas, of course. <laughs> As it's uh, seemingly destined to be until the end of times. But that said, you know, uh, it's starting to wind down and it it's definitely... Definitely a lot of stories to, to keep up to. I'm going to try and cast a lot of these uh, flawless record teams uh, next week if I can. I know in Europe, it's, I believe, Team Gravity up as I'll go check that real quick. Team Gravity with a, yeah, 6 and 0, the only master team with a uh, flawless record. But interestingly, in the Diamond Division of Europe, I, I somehow only just noticed, noticed it uh, this morning, which again, kind of shame on me, but... So much going on, it's hard to keep up sometimes. But uh, Blank, the team called Blank, they are 9 and 0. They are the 11th place team right now. So they are contesting uh, that master slot, obviously, uh, in the coming weeks. But 9 and 0, they have been busy challenging, uh, getting challenge matches every week, and they have been killing it. Not only that, looking even at their scores, they've been winning by big margins, is the thing. They're not, they're not even close games, most of them. So it's, it's a little bit scary. Uh, just, just, just a note, just a note. <laughs> and uh, then, meanwhile, over on the OCE side of things, uh, obviously not the round, ra uh, ra round robin style of a gameplay that we see in EU and NA, but uh, that race, it's reminding me a lot of NA, North America in the early, early days, which is to say that those top, top four teams, especially uh, Leviathan, Outlaws, Four Horsemen, Hydra, uh, a couple of which we may see tomorrow, as a matter of fact, Four Horsemen and. Uh, Hydra, I want to say. Maybe Outlaws. Uh, but regardless. Uh, that's kind of reminding me similar of how North America used to be. Right now, no no winless teams, or uh, lossless teams, I should say. They all have one loss there in the top three. But uh, yeah, that race has been really, really tight too. And for you guys who, you know, happen to be awake or 
haven't uh, tuned into some of those OCE streams late at night, I would very much encourage you to do so, especially, you know, those those top four slots. I mean, they've had uh, several different times now, these last minute game winning, uh, game winning saves, game winning goals. I mean, uh, it'll sneak up on you just how uh, how pervasive Echo is in this world right now and how awesome the competition is. But anywho, anywho, I won't keep you guys too much longer. Uh, I've been Paldor. Mini hat, anything else you want to leave off with, or shall we indeed leave it uh, leave it to the uh, streams for the weekend? I think that just about does it, Palador. So this can be our okay. our concluding scream for the weekend. All right. Well, with that, be happy, healthy, safe, and as always, please be good to each other, guys. And yeah, we will see you again real soon. Have a great night. Season 3 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Rebuff Reality, Asterion Products, ProTube VR, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net. <laughs>